What's up everybody, it's Kayvon from Functional Fitness VA and today we're gonna work on breathing, right? You better do it every day, but today we'll do it to get better at it. So the first little thing we're gonna do is resisted breathing. I have the Boss Rutin O2 trainer, which is a cool little doohickey. Costs about 60 bucks. Uh, I think it's well worth it. On one side, it has an adjustable hole to make the inhale more resisted or less resisted. The other side has a little flap. So it closes when you inhale, but opens when you exhale, so there's no resistance. Little nose pinch thingy goes on, put it in your mouth. Inhale hard, right? You're pulling with your diaphragm. You wanna pull the air like you're pulling it down into your abdomen. And then when you exhale, fully exhale, get all the air out and squeeze your abs a little bit on the end to make sure you're forcing that last little bit of air out. So it's a hard inhale, pull in using your diaphragm and breathing into your belly, not your neck. Then exhale fully and squeeze a little on the end to get the air out. Now, how can we do it without this thing? I have fingers, so I'm gonna use those. I pinch off one nostril, I close my mouth, then I inhale sharply through the open nostril. So it's only one little, effectively, hole here, yes, uh, just like the O2 trainer. And we've adjusted to make it less of an opening to breathe through, just like making a smaller hole with the O2 trainer. Then you exhale and just open your mouth. So there's no resistance on the exhale. Again, inhale sharply and hard, so you're pulling through your diaphragm. Exhale without any resistance. If that's easy, you could always pinch one nostril off and then partly block the other nostril. So we're getting that hole smaller and smaller, just like moving up in resistance with the O2 trainer. Same deal though, inhale with some force into your diaphragm and abdomen, exhale with no resistance, let all the air out, all right? We've narrowed that hole, makes it more resistance for the air to come in. One thing's important, don't breathe through your neck, all right? That's a lot of people's instinct. We don't want to do it, especially since we're breathing hard. There's that natural inclination to kind of shrug your shoulders and tense your neck. Good news, we can train that in an easier setting with some diaphragmatic, easy diaphragmatic breathing. Now, you may have seen the crocodile breathing video I have and there are other ones out there. That's great. It always works, if you ask me. But here we can enhance it a little with a straw, right? So I'm going to lay on my back here with the straw in. Oh, I do. I go. My, I like my legs straight. You can have your knees bent if you like. With one hand, you pinch your nose off. The other hand, I put it on my stomach so I can feel it moving as I breathe. And this is a nice, long, slow inhale. So we're not like sharply inhaling like we were with the resistance training breathing. This is slow and controlled to focus on pulling the air in, using your diaphragm, letting it, air quote, fill up your belly and then exhale by letting that balloon that has become your abdomen deflate and the air goes out. Also, since we have a straw, you gotta be patient, right? Because the air's gotta travel all the way through that straw. So slow inhale, long, slow, full exhale too. Back and forth, do 10 reps or so with this and you could do it immediately before your resisted breathing or just any time of day to make sure you're breathing correctly and you're relaxed and you're not tension breathing through your neck or your your shoulders or your chest, all right? Back and forth, nice and slow. Now, if that's too easy for you, and easy being a uh, kind of maybe not the exact right, right word, but we can put two straws together. So you just kind of feed them into each other, and that will normally work to make a longer route the air has to travel. Test where they're connected to make sure no air is leaking through, right? If there is, or if you just wanna make sure it's stuck together, grab a little scotch tape. Once around with the scotch tape will do the trick. Keeps that air tight, more or less. You know, we could travel to the moon with this thing. Uh, but that's a longer path the air has to travel, so you have to be even more patient and breathe slowly, right? So it's the same deal, just a longer straw on your back, pinching your nose off, one hand's on your belly, slow, full inhale, pulling with your diaphragm. Again, not hard and not sharp, not intense, just slow and controlled, and then a full, slow exhale, getting all the air out. And be patient, breathe through your belly and diaphragm. So once you've done that, then you can go back to your resisted training and work with that. Now, I could also use the straw here for my resistance training, since it is a narrow little hole. Uh, if that works for you, I tend to spit the straw out by accident. So every day do 10 of each and see how that goes for you. See if you feel like you can catch your breath easier, you have stronger breathing.
Have fun.